problem, Dave. The sea of matrimony is beset with hidden shoals and reefs. Just found out some man. In the classic TV show, Bewitched, Mary and Lauren played the role of Aunt Clara, who was Samantha's beloved aunt. Unlike many of Samantha's other relatives, Aunt Clara got along well with Darren, Samantha's husband. Mary and Lauren brought warmth and humor to the character of Aunt Clara, making her a fan favorite. Her portrayal of the lovable, absent-minded witch remains memorable to this day. Stop helping. Be tactful. Don't worry. I'll tactfully tell her that the position of house witch is already filled. Aunt Clara, a beloved character in the 1964 TV series Bewitched, was an elderly woman with a kind heart and a propensity for bumbling. She was quite lovable, despite her absent-mindedness and the comedic mishaps that often resulted from her attempts to cast spells. A typical scene featuring Aunt Clara might involve her entering or exiting with an exaggerated fumble, adding a touch of humor to the show. As a relative of the main character, Samantha, Aunt Clara played a significant role in the series. Her well-intentioned but often misfired spells brought a unique comedic element to the show, as they would invariably lead to humorous and unpredictable situations. Despite her shortcomings, Aunt Clara remained a beloved and endearing character throughout the series. Aunt Clara's spells, while intended to help or bring joy to those around her, often backfired in unexpected ways. These comedic blunders became a recurring theme in the show providing a source of amusement for viewers and a source of frustration for Aunt Clara herself. Nevertheless, her good-natured spirit and lovable personality shone through, making her a fan favorite. In summary, Aunt Clara was an elderly, bumbling, and absent-minded character in Bewitched, yet she was quite lovable. Her spells typically backfired in a comedic fashion, and she would enter or exit scenes with exaggerated fumbles. Despite the challenges she faced, Aunt Clara remained a beloved and integral part of the show, bringing laughter and joy to viewers with her well-intentioned but often misguided spells. <laughs> what you mean it's broken? Oh. Aunt Clara's quirky obsession with doorknobs in the 1964 TV series Bewitched was inspired by Marion Lauren's real-life collection. Lorne, the actress who played Aunt Clara, was known to have a fascination with doorknobs and collected them in her spare time. This unique interest was incorporated into her character, making Aunt Clara even more endearing to audiences. However, in a surprising turn of events, Aunt Clara suddenly vanished at the end of the fourth season. Her departure was never fully explained, leaving many fans wondering what had happened to their beloved character. In season six, Esmeralda was introduced as a new character taking on some of the comedic relief that Aunt Clara had provided. The departure of Aunt Clara was a significant change for the show, and while Esmeralda brought her own charm and humor to the series, she was never able to fully replace Aunt Clara in the hearts of fans. Despite this, Bewitched continued to be a popular show, captivating audiences with its magical storylines and lovable characters. The introduction of Esmeralda and the departure of Aunt Clara may have been a surprise to fans, but it was just one of the many changes that the show underwent during its eight-season run. Through it all, Bewitched remained a beloved and enduring part of television history, leaving a lasting impact on generations of viewers. Sort of a surprise party for Larry. And Dr. Bombay has come up with a potion by then. Marion Lauren, born Marion Lauren McDougall on August 12, 1883, in Pennsylvania, was a beloved actress in the 1960s TV series Bewitched. She was born to Scottish and English immigrants, which influenced her distinctive accent and added to her charm as an actress. Mary and Lauren's departure from Bewitched was a result of heartbreaking real-life circumstances. In 1968, while still a part of the show, Lauren passed away due to a sudden heart attack at the age of 84. Her absence was felt deeply by the cast and crew, and her character, Aunt Clara, was written out of the show. Despite her untimely departure, Lauren's impact on Bewitched was significant. She played the lovable and forgetful Aunt Clara, who was the aunt of the main character, Samantha, played by Elizabeth Montgomery. Aunt Clara was a witch who often used her magic to help Samantha and her husband, Darren, but her spells often went awry, leading to humorous situations. Lauren's portrayal of Aunt Clara was warm and endearing, making her a fan favorite. Her unique comedic timing and delivery brought a special charm to the character, which was a perfect fit for the whimsical world of Bewitched. Before her role in Bewitched, 
Lauren had a long and successful career in theater, film, television. She made her Broadway debut in 1915 and went on to appear in over 30 Broadway productions. She also appeared in several films, including The Bishop's Wife and The Mating Season. Lauren's career in television began in the 1950s, where she appeared in various shows such as Car 54, Where Are You?, and The United States Steel Hour. However, it was her role as Aunt Clara in Bewitched that brought her the most recognition and fame. In conclusion, Marion Lauren's departure from Bewitched was a significant loss for the show and its fans. Her warm and endearing portrayal of Aunt Clara brought a special charm to the series, and her absence was deeply felt lieutenant despite her untimely departure. Lauren's impact on the show and the world of television was enduring, and she will always be remembered for her unique comedic talent and unforgettable character. In the 1960s television series Bewitched, the main character, Samantha's mother, Dora, was a homemaker named Jenny Louise. And Dora's husband, Samantha's father, was a medical doctor named William Lorne McDougall. Interestingly, although records show that Endora was born in Whitty, 1983, she intentionally misrepresented her age, listing her birth year as 1885, even on her urn. This discrepancy in Endora's birth year is a minor detail, but adds a layer of intrigue to her character. I better go up and see her. I thought I'd give you a hand with the dish. Oh. After completing high school, Marion enrolled at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York City to pursue her passion for acting. Her hard work and talent paid off when she made her Broadway debut in 1905 at the age of 22. Following her successful stage career in New York, Marion decided to try her luck in London's thriving theater scene. Marion's career in London took off, and she quickly became a household name among theater goers. She even had her own theater, the Whitehall, where she starred in and produced many of her own plays. Marion's contributions to the London stage were significant, and she left a lasting impact on the theater community there. Despite her success in London, Marion never forgot her roots in New York or her love for the stage. She continued to act in and produce plays throughout her career, leaving behind a body of work that continues to be celebrated and admired to this day. Marion's talent, dedication, and passion for the stage made her a true trailblazer in the world of theater, and her legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors and theater lovers around the world. Maybe you heard of me. I was known as Endora. Elizabeth Montgomery, known for her role as Samantha in the popular 1960s TV series Bewitched, was a married woman long before her acting career took off. In 1911, she married playwright Walter C. Hackett, and their union remained happy until his death in 1944. During their marriage, the couple worked together at the Whitehall, where their plays were well received by critics and audiences alike. Montgomery's acting career began on the stage, but she made her feature-length film debut relatively late in life. At the age of 68, she appeared in Alfred Hitchcock's Strangers on a Train, which marked a significant milestone in her career. Despite starting her film career later in life, Montgomery proved to be a talented and versatile actress, capable of holding her own against some of Hollywood's biggest stars. In Bewitched, Montgomery played a witch who marries a mortal man, and the series explores the challenges and joys of their interspecies marriage. The show was a hit with audiences, and Montgomery's portrayal of Samantha remains one of her most enduring roles. Through her work on Bewitched and in other projects, Montgomery left a lasting impact on the world of television and film, and her legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. He thought that your attitude was out of line and you didn't deserve an explanation. Is that a fair statement, sweetheart? Agnes Moorhead an accomplished stage actress, successfully transitioned to television in the 1950s. She made a name for herself with recurring roles on shows like Mr. Peepers and Sally. On Mr. Peepers, she played the part of Mistress Gurney, a character who was both funny and endearing. Meanwhile, on Sally, she portrayed a wealthy widow, showcasing her ability to take on a variety of roles. Despite often being typecast as befuddled women, Moorhead had a wide range as a performer. She could play characters that were sophisticated and elegant, as well as those that were silly and absurd. Her talent for adapting to different roles made her a valuable asset to any show she was a part of. 
Throughout her career, Moorhead proved time and time again that she was more than just a one-dimensional actress. She brought depth and nuance to every character she played, and her performances were always a delight to watch. Even when she was playing a stereotypical role, she found ways to make it her own and add her own unique spin. In the end, Agnes Moorhead's contributions to television are still celebrated today. Her range as an actress and her ability to bring any character to life made her a true icon of the small screen. Her legacy continues to inspire actors and entertain audiences to this day. Sometimes we fail. <laughs> Come with me. In 1964, the actress who would become known as Aunt Clara on the popular TV series Bewitched admitted to being a coward when it came to live television. Despite her fear, she appeared on live TV to promote the girl rush. Her performance in Bewitched proved to be her final role bringing her widespread fame and success. Her portrayal of Aunt Clara, with her unique charm and magical mishaps, remains a beloved part of television history. In 1964, the television series Bewitched gained recognition when actress Agnes Moorhead, who played the role of Endora, was nominated for an Emmy Award in the category of Best Supporting Actress. Sadly, Moorhead passed away on May 9, 1966, due to a heart attack at the age of 84. Her death occurred shortly after the completion of Bewitched's fourth season, while the show was preparing for its fifth season. Moorhead's contribution to the series was significant, and her impact was felt even after her untimely demise. Following her death, she was posthumously awarded the Emmy for Best Supporting Actress, a testament to her exceptional talent and the lasting impression she left on both the show and its audience. Alice Pierce, an actress well known for her role as Gladys Kravitz in the popular 1964 TV series Bewitched, passed away at the young age of 48 due to ovarian cancer. Following her untimely death, the character of Gladys Kravitz was recast with Sandra Good. This change in casting unfortunately fueled rumors of a bewitched cast curse, as several cast members experienced tragic ends. Alice Pierce's portrayal of the nosy neighbor, Gladys Kravitz, brought laughter and amusement to the show's audience. Her character's constant suspicion of her neighbor's supernatural activities added a layer of humor to the series. When Pierce passed away, the show's producers decided to continue the role with Sandra Good, who brought her own unique touch to the character. Despite the change in casting, the rumors of a bewitched cast curse persisted. The untimely deaths of several cast members, including Pierce, contributed to this belief. However, it is important to note that these tragic events can often be attributed to factors outside of the show's production. In summary, Alice Pierce's role as Gladys Kravitz in Bewitched was a memorable one, and her passing was a significant loss for the show. The recasting of her character with Sandra Good did not diminish the quality of the series, but it did add to the rumors of a cast curse. However, these rumors are unfounded, and the tragic events that occurred can be attributed to factors beyond the show's control. Oh, oh but, but I still don't know whether you're for or against it. Can't you just bear another minute? Elizabeth Montgomery, who played the lead role of Samantha in the 1964 TV series Bewitched, faced challenges with tight casting after the show's success. Despite her talent and versatility, she often found herself being offered roles similar to Samantha due to her association with the character. Montgomery passed away in 1995 after a battle with cancer. Dick York, the first actor to play Darren in Bewitched, experienced a series of misfortunes. He suffered from a severe back injury, which led to a dependency on pain medication. As a result, he went broke and was eventually replaced in the series. York died in 1992 due to complications from emphysema. Despite the challenges they faced later in life, both Montgomery and York left an indelible mark on television history through their work on Bewitched. Their performances continue to captivate audiences, and their contributions to the entertainment industry remain significant. Dick Sargent, who joined the cast of Bewitched as Darren Stevens in 1969, publicly came out as gay in 1991. 
Sargent lived openly with his partner, Albert Williams, for several years before his passing in 1994 due to complications from prostate cancer. Agnes Moorhead, known for her role as Endora on Bewitched, died in 1974 from cancer. There has been speculation that her death may have been linked to her involvement in the filming of The Conqueror, which took place near a nuclear testing site. Despite this, Moorhead's impressive career in film and television spanned several decades, earning her critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. Both Sargent and Moorhead made significant contributions to the beloved television series Bewitched, with their memorable performances leaving a lasting impact on audiences. Sargent's portrayal of Darren Stevens brought a new energy to the show, while Moorhead's portrayal of Endora added a touch of magic and humor. Despite the challenges they faced in their personal lives, both actors remained dedicated to their craft and left behind a legacy that continues to be celebrated today. Sargent's openness about his sexuality and his advocacy for LGBTQ plus rights inspired many, while Moorhead's impressive body of work continues to captivate audiences around the world. In conclusion, Dick Sargent and Agnes Moorhead were two talented actors who left an indelible mark on the world of television. Their contributions to Bewitched and Beyond will not be forgotten, and their legacies continue to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. If I use this, I can um, zap this and pow that and... David White, the actor who played the role of Larry Tate in the 1964 TV series Bewitched, became a recluse after the tragic death of his son in the Lockerbie bombing. His son's death had a profound impact on him, and he chose to withdraw from public life. White was born in Denver, Colorado in 1916 and began his acting career in the 1940s. He appeared in numerous TV shows and films throughout his career, but it was his role as Larry Tate in Bewitched that brought him the most recognition. Larry Tate was the boss, an occasional client of the show's protagonist, Samantha, played by Elizabeth Montgomery. After the end of Bewitched in 1972, White continued to act in various TV shows and movies, but his public appearances became less frequent. Following the Lockerbie bombing in 1988, which took the life of his 24-year-old son, White became a recluse and avoided the public eye. White died of a heart attack in 1990 at the age of 74. His death was a loss to the entertainment industry, and he left behind a legacy of memorable performances. Despite his reclusive lifestyle in his later years, White's contributions to the world of television will always be remembered. Darren, before I go to Honolulu, I want you to know one thing. What? I... Bewitched is a show from the 1960s that remains fun to watch even today. It first caught my attention when I watched reruns in the 1980s. The show's charm is captivating, making it hard to stop once you start. It presents a wonderful mix of magic, love, and humor with a unique twist for its time. The storyline revolves around a witch, Samantha, who marries a mortal, Darren, and their everyday life filled with magical mishaps and family dynamics. One of the standout characters is Endora, Samantha's mother, who constantly tries to make Darren's life difficult. Endora embodies the essence of a wicked witch, but without the typical scary appearance. Another favorite character is Samantha's Uncle Arthur, known for his quirky sense of humor that adds a delightful touch to the show. The show was particularly engaging during the seasons featuring Dick York as Darren. His portrayal, especially in his interactions with Endora, brought a special comedic element that made the episodes more enjoyable. After Dick York left and was replaced by Dick Sargent, the show lost some of its comedic spark, as Sargent could not fully capture the same dynamic that York had with the other characters. Bewitched continues to air on TV land, and for those wanting to experience the best episodes, it is recommended to look for the ones featuring Dick York. This classic series, with its blend of magic, family, and humor, is sure to bring joy to both old fans and new viewers alike.
<laughs> They're really into their parts. <laughs> Darren, have you been drinking? The casting process for Bewitched, the 1964 TV series, was a careful selection of talents who could bring the magical world of Samantha and Darren to life. Elizabeth Montgomery, who played Samantha, was an obvious choice for the producers. She had already demonstrated her comedic timing and acting skills in earlier shows. Her ability to portray a balance between a housewife and a witch was instrumental in her casting. Dick York, who played Darren, was chosen from a list of talented actors. His audition demonstrated his ability to handle the humor and the dramatic elements of the character. York's chemistry with Montgomery during the screen test sealed his casting. Agnes Moorhead, who played Endora, was a stage and screen veteran. Her experience and talent were undeniable, making her the perfect choice for Samantha's mother. David White, who played Larry Tate, was chosen for his ability to balance humor and drama. His chemistry with York was evident during the auditions, making him the ideal choice for Darren's boss. The casting of Bewitched was a careful process of selecting talents who could bring the magical world to life. The chemistry test, auditions, and the undeniable talents of the actors resulted in the perfect cast for this beloved series. The directorial vision behind the 1964 TV series Bewitched was shaped by William Asher, who brought a unique blend of comedy and fantasy to life. Asher's approach was influenced by his experience in directing classic sitcoms like I Love Lucy and The Danny Thomas Show. He aimed to create a light-hearted, family-friendly atmosphere, which was reflected in the show's whimsical storyline and magical elements. Asher's directing style was characterized by his ability to balance the supernatural elements with the everyday lives of the characters. He used creative camera angles, visual effects, and editing techniques to emphasize the magical aspects of the show, while also focusing on the actor's performances to ensure the humor and emotions were effectively conveyed. Collaboration was essential to Asher's vision. He worked closely with the cast and crew, fostering a positive and creative environment on set. He encouraged actors to contribute their ideas and improvisations, which often led to memorable moments in the series. Asher's collaborative approach extended to the writers, producers, and technical team, resulting in a cohesive and engaging final product. Asher's creative influences included classic Hollywood comedies and the burgeoning genre of fantasy television. He drew inspiration from these sources to develop a distinctive visual and narrative style for Bewitched. The show's blend of humor, romance, and the supernatural became a hallmark of Asher's career and left a lasting impact on the television industry. Quiet, please. <laughs> Officer, did you see either one of us take it? It was there. The 1964 TV series Bewitched was filmed primarily in Hollywood with the interior shot at the General Service Studios. The set design was a crucial aspect of the show as it brought the magical world of Samantha Stevens and her whimsical family to life. The team paid meticulous attention to detail, creating a cozy suburban home filled with enchanted items and magical touches. The exterior of the Stevens home was located at 111644 Derbyshire Drive in Studio City, Los Angeles. However, the interior shots were filmed in a studio, allowing the production team to incorporate magical elements that would have been impossible to create on location. One of the logistical challenges of filming Bewitched was the use of special effects to depict Samantha's magical powers. 
The show employed innovative techniques for its time, such as using wires and pulleys to make objects move or levitate. The production team also used visual effects, such as double exposure and rear projection, to create the illusion of Samantha's magical spells. Another challenge was the use of live animals, such as the family's talking cat, Pewacket. The production team had to ensure the animal's welfare and safety while also capturing their performances on camera. Despite these challenges, the production team of Bewitched was able to create a captivating and enduring TV series that has become a classic in American television. The show's innovative use of special effects and visual techniques, combined with its charming cast and engaging storylines, has made Bewitched a beloved and enduring part of TV history. About that. Are you coming down with something? Maybe you need a shot. That's the best idea I've heard all day. The creation of the Bewitched score and soundtrack was a collaboration between composers, musicians, and the show's producers to enhance the narrative and emotional tone. The music, composed by Jack Marshall, featured a light-hearted and magical sound, using instruments like the harp and flute to evoke a whimsical atmosphere. Musicians, such as the highly regarded studio musicians known as the Wrecking Crew, contributed to the show's catchy and memorable theme song, which became an instant classic. The composer skillfully incorporated various musical styles, from big band to easy listening, to reflect the show's blend of comedy and fantasy. The soundtrack complemented the narrative by accentuating the characters' emotions and the story's magical elements. For instance, the theme song's playful melody set the stage for the show's enchanting world, while the background music highlighted the humor and whimsy of the characters' supernatural abilities. Composers and musicians worked closely to create a cohesive and engaging musical experience. Jack Marshall's compositions, combined with the musicians' deaf performances, resulted in a soundtrack that not only supported the narrative, but also left a lasting impression on viewers. The score and soundtrack of Bewitched remain an enduring example of the power of music and storytelling, enhancing the show's charm and ensuring its continued popularity. Darren, you've been working too. One of the most iconic scenes in Bewitched is from the pilot episode. I, Darren, take this witch, Samantha, where Samantha uses her powers for the first time in front of Darren. The scene is shot in a cozy living room with a warm and intimate atmosphere created by the soft lighting and close-ups of the actors' faces. Samantha, played by Elizabeth Montgomery, twitches her nose and a vase of flowers appears on the table. Darren, played by Dick York, is shocked and amazed, and the audience is left in anticipation of the magical adventures to come. Director William Asher uses a simple yet effective visual effect for Samantha's magic, with a subtle blur and a flash of light, making it believable and charming. Montgomery's performance is nuanced and endearing, capturing Samantha's sweetness and playfulness. The impact of this scene is significant as it sets the tone for the entire series and introduces the audience to the magical world of Bewitched. Another iconic scene is from the episode, and then there were three, where Samantha's mother, Dora, casts a spell on Darren to make him irresistible to women. The scene takes place in a crowded restaurant, with the camera capturing the reactions of the surrounding patrons as they become enamored with Darren. The use of wide shots and quick cuts creates a lively and humorous atmosphere, highlighting the comedic timing of the actors. Agnes Moorhead's performance as Endora is delightfully wicked, adding to the scene's charm and entertainment value. The impact of this scene is memorable as it showcases the comedic elements of the series and the unique dynamic between Samantha, Darren, and Endora. The scene also highlights the show's ability to balance magical fantasy with relatable human experiences. These iconic scenes from Bewitched have stood the test of time, captivating audiences with their charm, humor, and magical allure. The combination of skill direction, exceptional performances, and innovative cinematography has created moments that continue to resonate with viewers today. Smell. Uh, uh, smell again. Bewitched, a 1964 TV series, made a significant cultural and social impact. The show, about a witch who marries a mortal, resonated with audiences due to its blend of fantasy, comedy, and romance. It quickly became a hit with its characters and situations becoming part of popular culture. 
The show contributed to discussions on relevant social themes, such as the role of women in society. The main character, Samantha, was a strong, independent woman who used her powers to navigate her domestic and professional life. This challenged traditional gender roles, inspiring many women during the feminist movement of the 1960s. Moreover, the series featured an interracial couple breaking barriers in television at the time. This was a bold move that helped promote diversity and inclusion in media. In terms of pop culture, Bewitched introduced several catchphrases and situations that have been referenced and parodied in numerous other shows and movies. The iconic twitch of the nose, the theme song, and the character of Endora are all memorable elements that have left a lasting impact. Overall, Bewitched was more than just a TV series. It was a reflection of its time, addressing social issues, and influencing pop culture in a meaningful way. Deal to Roger Conan. I'm well aware of that heroic English seaman. His band was the first... Bewitched, a 1964 television series, received positive reviews from critics and audiences alike. The show was praised for its unique blend of fantasy and comedy, which revolved around a witch who marries a mortal man. One of the key reviews came from the New York Herald Tribune, which described the show as a gentle, amusing, and sometimes enchanting comedy. The review highlighted the show's clever writing and the charming performances of its lead actors, Elizabeth Montgomery and Dick York. The audience reaction was also overwhelmingly positive. The show quickly became a hit, with an average of 12 million viewers per episode during its first season. Fans appreciated the show's lighthearted tone and the relatable characters who dealt with everyday problems while also navigating the supernatural world. Bewitched received several award nominations, including multiple Emmy Awards and Golden Globe Awards. Elizabeth Montgomery was nominated for an Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series in 1966 and 1967, and the show was nominated for Best Comedy Series in 1966. The show's success at these prestigious award ceremonies further solidified its place in television history. Receiving critical acclaim and award nominations is significant for those involved in a film or television series as it helps to establish their credibility and talent in the industry. It can also lead to increased recognition and opportunities for future projects. For the cast and crew of Bewitched, these accolades were a testament to their hard work and creativity and they remain a source of pride for the show's enduring legacy. Are you still going? No, I gave him up. I couldn't afford the booze and him too. The making of Bewitched was filled with humor and camaraderie. Elizabeth Montgomery, who played Samantha, was known for her practical jokes on set. In one episode, she convinced her on-screen husband, Dick York, that a fly had landed in his mouth during a scene. York's shocked reaction made it into the final cut. Behind the scenes, the crew had to be creative to achieve the show's magical effects. To create the twitching nose effect, they used a device called a noseboro, a small motorized piece that fit up Montgomery's nostril. The wiggling finger trick was achieved by attaching a piece of fishing line to her finger and operating it off camera. Dick York's departure from the series due to health issues led to the introduction of Dick Sargent as Darren. This change was kept secret from the public until the airing of the first episode with Sargent. The cast and crew managed to maintain this secret, creating an element of surprise for viewers. Agnes Moorhead, who played Endora, often clashed with the show's producers over her character's development. Despite these disagreements, she remained professional and delivered a memorable performance, earning four Emmy nominations for her role. Bewitched set was a lively place where cast and crew formed close bonds. Their shared experiences and the laughter they brought to the production contributed to the show's charm and enduring popularity. He has a headache. Headaches give him a terrible thirst. <laughs> oh yeah. Bewitched, a 1964 television series, holds a significant place in film history due to its innovative blend of fantasy and comedy. The show's supernatural element, where a witch uses magic to navigate her daily life, was a novel concept at the time, paving the way for future fantasy-based productions. The series had a substantial impact on future filmmaking, particularly in the genres of fantasy and comedy. It demonstrated that these genres could be successfully combined, inspiring numerous subsequent works. The show's influence can be seen in various productions, 
such as the popular 1996 film The Craft, which also explores the theme of witchcraft in everyday life. Moreover, Bewitched inspired a 2005 film of the same name, starring Nicole Kidman and Will Ferrell, further highlighting its enduring appeal and influence. The series also sparked a trend of incorporating supernatural elements into sitcoms, leading to shows like I Dream of Jeannie and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. In addition, Bewitched played a crucial role in shaping the career of its lead actress, Elizabeth Montgomery. Her portrayal of Samantha Stevens, the witch at the center of the series, was both charming and captivating, earning her critical acclaim and a dedicated fan base. In summary, Bewitched left a lasting legacy in the world of film and television. Its innovative blend of fantasy and comedy, its influence on future productions, and its impact on Elizabeth Montgomery's career all served to solidify its place in film history. Ruthie sure is pretty. Yeah. If Bewitched, the 1964 television series, has left an impression on you, we'd love to hear about it. Share your memories, experiences, and the influence this classic show had on you. Did it make you laugh, inspire you, or shape your perspective on television? We invite you to like, share, and subscribe for more explorations into the world of cinema. Your engagement helps us create a community that cherishes and celebrates the magic of television and film. Let's keep the conversation going and explore how these stories have marked our lives.